You're watching PBS. And now, Masters of the Pen. I'm Eileen Tibbs, and welcome to Masters of the Pen, in which we explore the authors behind iconic books. Today, we will look at Wizard of Oz author L. Frank Baum. My guest is Professor Lon Martell, an expert in Baum's life and career. Uh, hello, Eileen, and you're welcome for being here. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you for being here. Sorry. Uh, no worries. I'm just being fun. <laughs> I understand you've come across some astounding found footage. Indeed, it's from the early 1900s. Oh. An amateur filmmaker shot some footage of New York City and we spotted L. Frank Baum, the author of The Wizard of Oz in the background. Ooh, did you bring the footage? You know what, no. Oh, boo, why I'm not? I'm kidding, of course I brought it. Right. <laughs> okay, this is footage shot outside a store in New York. The date's unknown, but it's the early 1900s. That man on the bench there is L. Frank Baum. Oh, wow. Oh, and someone just zoomed by. Wow, that man was fast. Uh, well, back then, film was shot at a lower frame rate, so everything looks sped up. Oh, looks like Mr. Baum is writing something. Could he be writing The Wizard of Oz here? Well, there are some clues that lead us to believe he is, but it's hard to get a good look now because this business gentleman <laughs> has noticed the camera. Oh, yeah, he seems very excited. Yeah, well, uh, a film camera. <laughs> It was a rare sight back then, so it's a big deal for this man. Oh, wow. Anyway. Okay. Oh. But look at Baum right there. His eyes seem to wander in thought. Then his gaze settles on some shoes in the store window. Are those slippers? Is this the exact moment he got the idea for Dorothy's ruby slipper? Uh. We'll never know. Uh, as the business gentleman has brought his large friend to see the camera. Well, the, the large friend seems very happy to see the camera. Yes, uh, he's clearly very pumped. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, now, all right, Mr. Baum seems to be talking to himself. Any idea what he's saying? Well, there is AI software to decipher what he's saying, but we weren't <laughs> able to use it because the business gentleman and his friend got hold of a woman's hat and parasol and blocked the background. Mm. They think this is very hilarious. Yes, yes, they do. And keep in mind, this is the early 1900s, so this might be the most fun these people have in their entire lives. Uh, oh, well, I love seeing Al Frank Baum. Yes, so do I. And um, oh. this oh. woman's here now. Yeah, unfortunately, she sees the camera, too. Wow, wow, she is blinking fast. How, how does she do that? Okay, I, I just told you the film is sped up, and... <laughs> Okay, oh, there she goes. Oh, oh, now what is Mr. Baum looking at? He seems intrigued, whatever it is. Yes, yes, uh, except it's hard to tell because an old lady walks by who's, surprise, <laughs> the large friend. Yeah. And he thinks it's the greatest thing in the world. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, wow. but here we have an incredible moment with Mr. Baum. He notices the camera and approaches with his notebook. Oh my God, does he show his notebook to the camera? Maybe a drawing of the scarecrow? Or the no, wind? Oh. No, we'll never know because this random man wanted to show uh, his hot dog. Oh no, why? Well, remember, this was the early 1900s. People didn't know what was good or interesting. Well, now Al Frank Baum is gone. Yeah, I mean, I wish we had more to show your viewers. Oh. I mean, there is a lot more of the business gentleman and his friend if you want to show that. Well, why not? I mean, this is PBS, so only about 10 people are watching. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. 